Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to replace the front axle or the half shaft or CV joint in this 01 uh, Ford Taurus, same as pretty much any 96 to 07 Taurus. Tools you'll need, jack and jack stands, 10 to 21 millimeter sockets, ratchets and extensions, uh, 10 millimeter, 18 millimeter wrenches, a 30 millimeter socket. You will need a tie rod puller, which is kind of a special tool, a large hammer, and a pry bar or large screwdriver. Okay, start by using a screwdriver and pry off the little cap and try not to fumble it like I do. Okay, so if you have the benefit of air tools, so the air ratchet is the best way. This is a 30 millimeter hub nut and you want to remove it with the air tools. Um, if you don't have air tools, you want to have your car on the ground, um, wheels on the ground, and then you can um, remove this with hand tools. You're going to need a large breaker bar because it is on here tight. Okay. And now you use a 19 millimeter socket to remove the wheel. Next, remove the cotter pin that holds the bolt for the tie rod end. Okay, this is 18 millimeters. Okay, now you're going to use a tie rod end and ball joint puller or pusher. Just try to make sure it's lined up as straight as you can. Okay, that pops and that's disconnected. Penetrating oil on the upper stabilizer link bolt and the strut clamp bolt and yes you'll notice that the tie rod end is connected again because I kind of shot it out of sequence. Those soak, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here that you can remove that holds the uh, brake line bracket. We'll kind of speed through that. Then you pull that brake line bracket out and then you slide the bracket that has the ABS sensor up and pull that clip off. upper stabilizer bolt. Um, you'll need an 18 millimeter wrench and then you can see I've got a 10 millimeter wrench on there in case I need to hold that shaft still and it turns out that this actually comes apart without even having to hold that in place. Okay. You can pull that uh, link out and then I'm just putting that bolt back on to, for safekeeping. And now the bolt that holds the um, lower end of the strut. Okay so it's an 18 millimeter wrench that I'm going to use to hold it. And this is a 21 millimeter. Okay, so I've just taken the bolt the rest of the way off by hand and I actually accidentally drop it actually. Okay, and then a small hammer or a hammer and just drive um, that bolt out. You have to drive it all the way out to that bolt actually does hold on to the strut and once you get it out you can usually pull it out right by hand and then you need a good size hammer and you just hit the top of the steering knuckle and if you look real close you can basically see the disc sliding down off of the strut and we'll speed it up a little bit here Okay, so the big red arrow, that is the axle shaft coming through the hub. And usually I give that a nice big wrap and it uh, loosens right up. And that's the case. It was actually loose on this Taurus. Um, usually just a nice big hammer, give it one big wrap and it'll loosen it up. Okay, so now I'm ready to 
separate the strut from the steering knuckle. Um, so I just kind of pull the wires out of the way and down, and then the washer um, from the hub bolt actually just kind of fell down. Okay, and then move everything down. Really different angle here. Uh, use a smaller pry bar or a big screwdriver, and basically just pry your um, axle up out of the hub. And obviously be careful of that one line right there, that is the brake line. There's generally enough slack in it to do this. Um, and you apply it up, and pop it out, and then you'll grab onto it with your hands and pull it up. And this does require some strength and some force. So you can pull it up and out. Okay, okay now underneath, on the business end of that axle, just put a pry bar in there. And it's just a snap ring that holds that in place, so just pry it right out. And back again from above, just take the axle right out. Before you reinstall your axle, you want to just, if your seal's been leaking, you may want to replace this seal right here. The axle pretty much goes in like it came out. You want to put it right up and in. Give it a good push, make sure it goes all the way in. Check it from down below here. Make sure there's no shininess showing there. It's all in. And take your axle. And push it right into the hub. Okay, now you want to pull these, your brake line and your ABS sensor wire. Basically push your suspension down and pull your strut right over. It's in. Make sure your bracket is going down into the slot in the steering knuckle here. Okay. And then push it down. And just again make sure that, that gets lined up with that slot. As long as you have that bracket lined up into the slot in the steering knuckle, you start jacking it up and it goes together. It goes right on. And you want to keep lifting, keep this bolt in, and then once that bolt goes through, you're all set. Okay, and now here I'm going to put the nut on the other side of that, and that bolt you want to tighten up to 100 um, foot-pounds of torque. Put your sway bar link back in. this clip back on. Just be careful with your fingers. Then you slide this down over and then on the back side this little tab goes right through the hole in this clip in the strut and holds everything together and then the bolt to bolt it together. Okay, and we'll fast forward through uh, tightening that up. There's no specific torque, just make that bolt tight. Okay, and here we'll use a little tapping of the hammer. Um, doesn't usually take much uh, to get that stabilizer link through the strut, then put the bolt on. Um, and then use your 18 millimeter wrench and possibly your 10 millimeter uh, and get that link nice and tight. Again, no specific torque specification, just get it good and tight. Okay, now you want to reconnect your tie rod end, put that bolt on. Okay, I'm going to torque this to 50 foot pounds. And then pull it just a little tighter so we can get the cotter pin in. Okay. 
Okay, speed through putting the cotter pin in here, using a hammer, kind of beat it in there. And then I just bend it over with my hand to make sure it stays. Okay, and now here I'm going to put the washer and the hub bolt back on. And then I'm going to grab my impact wrench. Um, if you don't have impact tools, put your wheel back on and lower the car down on the ground. Um, and then you do that. You can see I'm looking in behind. Basically what I'm doing is watching the axle go into the hub. And once I see the axle pretty much get all the way in the hub and the uh, wrench slow down, that's when I stop because I will want to torque it by hand with the car on the ground. Okay, so save you all the details of putting the wheel back on, but you need to side, put it on there, put the lug nuts on. Uh, I tighten on the lug nuts preliminarily with the uh, impact wrench and then let the car down to the ground. Okay, now with the car on the ground, that 30 millimeter nut, I'm going to tighten it up to 130 foot pounds. Okay, and now I'll put the little cap back on, the center cap. Just get it positioned right and give it a good tap with your fist or with a little hammer. And then I'm going to torque my lug nuts to between anywhere from 80 to 100 foot pounds. Use a star pattern, so cross, 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 and cross. And when you road test, just you know, be careful, go slow the first time out. Um, and you should be all set from there. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.